एल एन टी कंस्ट्रक्शन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन आई सी मेरठ अलीगढ़ आई वुड लाइक टू टेल अ फ्यू डिटेल्स अबाउट एल एन टी ऑल दो द नेम इज वेरी नोन बट स्टिल लार्सन एंड टॉबरो इज एन इंडियन मल्टी नेशनल एंगेज इन ई पी सी प्रोजेक्ट्स हाई टेक मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड सर्विसेज इट ऑपरेट्स इन ओवर फिफ्टी कंट्रीज वर्ल्ड वाइव एल एन टी एग्जीक्यूट्स मेजर प्रोजेक्ट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रोड्स रनवेज रेलवेज एंड एलिवेटेड कॉरिडोर्स हाइड्रोकार्बन पावर प्रोसेस इंडस्ट्रीज एंड डिफेंस एंड फॉर द सेम वी हैव मिस्टर नवीन कुमार कनौजिया ऑपरेशन एंड प्लानिंग हेड एट गाजियाबाद अलीगढ़ प्रोजेक्ट एन एच थर्टी फोर जॉइंड एल एन टी इन ईयर ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड एंड टू बी ई इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टू थाउजेंड एंड टू आफ्टर डूइंग एल एन टी कंस्ट्रक्शन डिविजन हैज़ बीन एट वेरियस रोड एंड एयरपोर्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रोजेक्ट्स इन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ फील्ड इंजीनियर पेरेंट इंजीनियर planning manager and now operation and planning head at ghaziabad aligarh road project nh34 i would like to request mr navin kumar kanojia to please come forward and speak a few words on behalf of his company can i have a huge round of applause for him please uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen uh, with the uh, uh, you can say a light foot words by sanjeev sir it's a difficult uh, it's a challenge to say anything further but let me try to begin with uh, can we do uh, exercise an exercise are we ready yes. are we ready yes. so please close your eyes for 5 seconds and just think what is the most single most important thing in your life in your life just please close your eyes for 5 seconds and just think now open your eyes you all be uh, will be having different answers to move it further if you're not getting the answer close your nose for 2 minutes then you will get to know so ladies and gentlemen the point which i would like to highlight here is our environment we are living in this environment we are doing a lot of things we are making road bridges airports but can you say and can we feel that how we are making all these projects how we are making all this infrastructure these all are made by natural resources so can we say that whom whom these natural resources belong to do they belong to us or do they belong to nature we have not crafted them we have not made them but we are making use of them to make our projects to make our infrastructure so one more thing i would like to point out here we often say that our lungs are working we are breathing because our lungs are inside our body but just think half of our lungs are hanging outside on the trees because the trees are not there from where we'll get this oxygen so ladies ladies and gentlemen keeping this thought here i would like to mention one of the project which we are executing executing and the very theme of this project is recycling because recycling is the way by which we can eliminate the chances of extinction of our natural resources so why recycling we know all the infrastructure projects we are making use of natural resources and these natural resources are depleting so as a responsible organization we have to take care of these resources recycling as i said is one of the way by which we can protect the depletion of these resources and make our contribution to the planet the recycling is not only helps to reduce the wastage this also helps to save to save energy now if we talk about a uh, road project typically asphalt road project there are two kinds of recycling which are available one is hot recycling and another is 
cold recycling. To make it very simpler, the recycling which we are, I am talking about here is reusing of the existing asphalt payment, bituminous payment, and making it in or converting it in a new road, which I am talking about. So this is the process, how it is being done. For the simplicity, I have kept it in a, in a way so that we can understand step by step. The first thing on the top, which we, we, uh, you are able to see, is the milling of existing pavement, existing road, transporting of this material to the plant, then making it to the required gradation as per the design, processing, processing it, mixing it with other required ingredients, and again transporting it back to the site to make it a new road. So just go one by one. These are few photographs by which we can understand the process. This is the process of milling by which we are cutting out the existing road. In the second step, if, if you can see, whatever material which we have cut from the road, it comes to the plant, we stack it. After the stacking, as per the design, we are segregating it into the required fractions. This is the plant, a cold cycle plant, where we are mixing this material which we have retrieved from the road with required ingredients and again producing a mix which is being laid at the site. One video will be able to demonstrate it. Can you play the video? So by the time our team gets ready for the video, I would like to mention that what we have saved and what we are going to, and what we are envisaging by this uh, method, we are executing this pilot project at Gajabad Aligarh Road, NS34. And with this project, we are recycling 5 lakh metric ton of aggregate, 5 lakh metric ton of rock, which we have, I mean, so if not been done, we have to mine it separately. About 50 lakh liters of fuel is being saved, and we envisage to reduce carbon footprint by 13,400 metric ton. Thank you very much. And our environment head, uh, Mr. Aviral Rana, will say a few words on this project, on the benefit. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Naveen sir, for your kind presentation. And I would like to uh, highlight some key environmental savings which we will going to achieve after completion of project or during this project. Uh, first, uh, you, uh, you can see the video first. This is the way which we are constructing uh, NS uh, Gazebad to Aligarh Road project. This is the milling machine and mill material is transported to stockyard. It is the, again then uh, screen stockpile into the following fractions. Addition of strengthening material.
This is the final road. And after completion of this project, we will be saving 13,000 tons of CO2 uh, emissions directly. And uh, we work on that principle that no waste is waste until we waste it. The material is recycled and reused in the same, same alignment. Thank you very much.